Welcome back everyone. We're back at the job site converting a tub to a shower surround. Today we're going to install the shower pan. As you can see the floor has been perfectly leveled already. So the drain pipe and along with the rest of the rough end plumbing is now complete. As you can see the 2x8 wood blocks have been installed as backer for the grab bars. Some of this wood has been removed because the a oh, lot of dry rot. That's a two inch drain pipe. That's new. And then we also have the self leveling compound. Let me show you that process right now. So what we need to do now is this drain pipe is sticking up too high um, when it was installed. So we need to cut this off flush with the floor and then that's going, our shower pan is going to fit down over that and the drain pipe assembly is going to be around this five inch hole. So that, that hole is to accept the drain pipe assembly. It will slip down over this pipe. So let's get started on cutting this drain pipe flush with the floor. All right, so the next step is installing the ProFlow drain assembly. This is the cover. This is the brass nut that goes on the bottom. The cardboard. Washer, along with the rubber gasket. This is the side. So for now, we're gonna put plumber's putty right around the flange here. I just use regular plumber's putty. Just get yourself a chunk of it like that, and you're gonna roll it into a rope. It helps if you rub it in your hands like this a little bit to get it heated up. It seems like it goes on there a little bit easier. And you need a piece that goes all the way around. So it's gotta be long enough. Almost. You're just going to push it in there and then when you tighten the nut on the bottom it's going to squeeze all that out creating a nice watertight seal and this won't harm the solid surface. Okay. Just like that, all the way around, all nice and continuous. Okay, and so now I'm going to slip this through through the drain hole on the solid surface shower floor, and we're going to tighten these up on the bottom.
Okay, grab the wrench right there and we'll tighten it all the way. assemblies in. We got the nut on the bottom, everything centered, perfect. Now we're going to set this in place and drop it down over the drain pipe. We got the pan installed. It's sitting on the level floor, as you can see. It's close to the tile in the front there. So they'll have to, flooring guys will have to silicone that or some grout in there. But the drain, you can see where the drain assembly is right around that pipe, perfect. And after we're finished doing the install of the shower walls, the plumber will come in and finish installing the drain pipe assembly. But you can see how the flange comes up on the wall. That's what creates the watertight tub of the shower pan. So all of that's waterproof inside there. And then over here, so this will be drywall on the walls. And I'll come down to right about here. We'll show that in another video. And then the panels will come down and tie tight to the bottom of the floor. So anyway, we're coming along. Next step is drywall and fabrication of the shower walls.